how stop signs are made. Whether you drive or not, you've probably seen this, a stop sign. These big, see? Like they're trying to make a stop sign, like multiple stop signs. Red octagons are a universal sign for, well, stop. Stop signs are one of the most important signs in the United States. They're the most vandalized road sign in New York City, and that makes them a bestseller at this sign shop. There are over two... Do you know that there are sign shops across the city? Two million signs in New York City, and the Department of Transportation... You don't have to worry about New York City. ...is responsible for them. Each of New York City's five boroughs has its own... Like, they are building traffic signs or making them sign shop. And we visited the one in Queens to see how the signs are made. The MassPath Central shop. You see, do a regulatory sign section and a warning sign section and the red sign section. The red signs are regulatory signs. Warning signs are like yellow diamond signs. Like a curve is an example of a warning sign and a speed limit sign is an example of a regulatory sign. Manufactures over 100,000 highway, stop, parking, and... Like, there are over thousands and millions of road signs in the United States. Street signs a year, all with a team. They might make street signs. Actually, they, they, they will make street signs. They made street signs with street names on them. Of just 15 people, and most of it is done entirely by hand. See? Like, like they are using a little knife thing to cut the edges of a road sign. And you see that white paper that is taped over words of street signs, they are removing them. The lifespan of a stop sign is about 10 to 12 years, but more often than not... Like, you see? Do they, like, print stop signs red? Signs get replaced before that. Stop signs are what we call our best sell. They have different sizes of traffic signs. They're all not the same. They have different sizes of traffic signs. They are not the same size. Uh, reason being, they're knocked down during traffic accidents. They're the highest vandalized. You see pedestrian crossing sign in the below in the warning sign section. What is your favorite warning sign? Comment below. What is your favorite regulatory sign? Comment below. I signs with stickers and graffiti. The process begins with large sheets of aluminum in that signature octagon shape. They go through a machine that adds a reflective sheeting. This is what helps drivers see the signs even in the dead of night. A crew member cuts off the excess material as it exits. Like traffic signs are important for roads. Like stop signs are important. Speed limit signs are important. Like. Welcome to a city. The sign is not important. And like, there is a city that says a city city limit is not important. Speed limit sign is important. Regulatory signs are important and warning signs are important to catch your attention. Signs have different colors to catch your attention. The reflective sheeting machine, leaving behind perfect white octagons. The blanks then go into a screening room to get stamped. The trough machines are filled with one gallon of red. Do you know how many stop signs they will print? Comment below. ink at a time. The team members responsible for this stage of the manufacturing process place each blank into the right spot and swap them out for the next as they're stamped. Like, when the stop signs are printed this bold red, red color is infamously linked to the signal for stop. One. And when stop signs first got a streamlined design... These are what stop signs were designed 
1922. In 1922, Signmakers knew red would be the perfect color. It's really hard to miss, and you can see it from a mile away. The problem? Back then, there was no red dye that wouldn't fade over time. So most stop signs were yellow, with black... Stop signs were yellow in 1922 letters instead. It wasn't until the mid-1950s when sign makers started using and below the 1922 stop sign it says state route fade resistant coating to create the red stop sign we know today. Some stop signs like some traffic signs may be moving when it's windy or rainy. After the signs go through the silk screening process, they go on a rack to dry overnight, and then the process is complete. Although stop signs are the best sellers at this mass test there sign shop, they aren't the only thing that's the right made here. Place. The team here is also responsible for hundreds of other signs in New York City. Did you saw the school sign section? Did you just saw the school sign section? like the no standing signs and even the giant highway signs that point you to your destination each of these signs starts with something called a sign manufacturing order or SMO for short this tells the designer what the sign should look like and has details that have been planned with the Department of Sanitation such as important dates or times these signs might be just small parts of your day and the work behind making them often goes unnoticed but each one goes through many people's hands at like they also can make Highway signs, interstate highway signs, but most of them are green, which is a calming color. And they can also make school signs, or pedestrian crossing signs, or bike lane signs, or bicycle signs, and other. Sign shops like this to help everyone get around safely. So the next time you see a stop sign or a road sign, you'll know exactly how much work went into getting them there. And this is how stop signs are made. See you next time. Now you know how stop signs are made.